Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download, update, and move Revit Central Models. On the first part of the video, I show you how to download and update a central model, whether it's from the cloud, via Dropbox, New Forma, Google Drive, OneDrive, whatever it is, you have it online and they send to you or they send a link to you and you want to download that central model to your server. And then on the second part of the video, I'll show you how to move a central file from one folder to another folder within your server. I hope you find it useful and I'll see you in Revit. All right, so if you haven't watched the video that I have on Revit central models versus local models, uh, go ahead and check it out. I encourage you to watch it before continuing this video. Uh, you'll find it in the video description below. Having said that, let me show you the easiest way to update a Revit central model. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so let me walk you through the server simulation I have going on on the desktop so you can follow along. Uh, my desktop, I have a folder that I called server, which is mimicking my local area network. And then I have a shortcut for the local models that by default is in a location similar to the one you see on the screen. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to be downloading something that we're supposed to place in our server as a central model. And we're updating a model that we already have. So let's say you're obtaining updated models from the architect, from the structural engineer, from the kitchen consultant, or whatever it is. So I have just downloaded this folder right here, this zip folder, that contains some Revit models. All right, the first thing I want to do is extract this zip file. So I'll do that. And now, I have my two Revit files, right, that I just downloaded, and I need to compare their names to whatever I have in my server. And I'm gonna open the server, right, what's mimicking my server, and I'm gonna snap it to the left side, right? And then under my projects, I'm gonna go to my BIM folder, then under my models. These are my architectural and structural files. And in this particular case, they both have the same name but sometimes you may get a model that is named let's say uh, 2022 uh, and then at the end of architectural it may have uh, Joe because Joe exported or something and the other one's named let's say Thursday and uh, BIM it up whatever and then it says Luis right so you obviously don't want to be changing the name of your central file constantly because you're linking that file in all your mechanical, electrical, and plumbing models. So what you do is you can you can take this name, right, control C, and just paste it here to make sure that you have the same name and do the same thing with the structural file and just paste it here, right? And then you can simply select both of them, cut them, and paste and replace. And now what you do is you open your Revit application. And then you navigate to that location where you pasted your files you see that this file was recently saved as a central model because it's asking me to create a new local model. And as expected, if you go to, you get the typical dialog box that tells you, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to override the existing file or do you want to append a timestamp to the existing file name? So either way, in this case, I'm just going to override the existing file. And then notice that I'm not getting any warnings when I open my file. I could even synchronize if I wanted to. And now you can see that the central model location 
is the correct model location which is in my desktop the server projects whatever the path is and then it has the same name that it used to have so I'm going to synchronize and then I'm going to close my model I can do the same thing for the structural model I just open the structural notice that I have the create new local available we go message override the existing file and then I have my synchronize button available here and you can see that it's synchronizing to the correct location so I can just close the file and if you're serious about your professional training go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and over there you can contact me directly for some top-of-the-line training so just to show you what would happen if this were central models in another location I'm just gonna take these two guys and I'm gonna cut them out of my server mimicking folder I'm gonna paste them under the downloads folder and I'm gonna open it from that location so I go open go to downloads and I'm gonna open this architectural file notice that since this moved this create new local is not available anymore so the correct way of opening this if I were to open it right now look I want to show you what happens you get this message first telling you that the model has been copied or moved from one place to another and if I close I still get another message telling me that the architectural link cannot be found perhaps due to a lost network connection and then I close this and then I get another dialog box telling me that Revit could not find or read one reference what do you want to do and even you would have to open the managed links and then repath this and all that so I'm just going to ignore all this and I'm just going to close my file so what you really want to do here is when you're opening your file let's say the architectural model make sure you detach from central and when you do this you're letting Revit know listen man I know what I'm doing I know that this is moving from one side to the other it's fine so when I click open it gives you the two options either you detach and preserve the work sets or you detach and discard the work sets I'm gonna preserve the work sets and notice that now my model opened without any warnings now this file here you see how it's an architectural detached file right now I cannot synchronize right so even though I have work sets available this is not a central model however I can save it as a central model so if I do save as right and I'm, I'm by default it's in the downloads folder so I can go here to options and by default here this is making the file a central model once I save it so I can go ahead and save this model as a central model I don't want to keep the detached name here I want to keep the same name that I had before but I want to make sure that make this a central model after save is checked and I can keep just one backup so I'm gonna hit OK now this file is a central file where is it synchronizing to? Well, if you click here and synchronize now, you'll see that it's synchronizing to the downloads folder. So now that's a central file in the downloads folder. Now let's say I want to take it back to my server, right? All right, so let's navigate to our server. And try to open again. Notice that the create new local is not available because this is not a central model in this location so I would have to detach from central and open the file I can detach and preserve work sets because I do want to keep the work sets and then notice that I don't have the synchronized button available because this is not a central model but as soon as I save again we're gonna save we don't want to keep the detached name we want to save on top of the architectural one we go to options just to make sure that make this a central model after save is active and we can keep one backup that's fine and then it asks you if you want to replace it we say yes 
and now my synchronize with central model is available and you can see that we're synchronizing to the correct location now I'm gonna close this I'm gonna try to open it again and what are we expecting we're expecting this to be a central model so this is good it's creating a new local by default and I click OK and it gives me the typical dialog box back so keep in mind as always as you saw in the previous video that once you open you're opening a local copy of the central file and then if you click save you're saving to your local file and then when you're synchronizing only when you're synchronizing is when you're uploading all your changes to the central model and if you're enjoying this content there are many ways you can support it you can like or leave a nice comment down there it really helps me out you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos you can join our patreon community in the link you see on the screen which is also in the description you can spread the word around share it with your co-workers and in social media and if you know any MEP firms that need help with BIM migration or any other topics you can let them know so that I can help them